Prince Andrew is expected to remain far away from the limelight this Christmas. The Duke of York has been tipped to be among the royals joining King Charles and Queen Camilla at Sandringham House tomorrow to celebrate the first Christmas without Queen Elizabeth II. But Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will steer clear of the UK this year. Andrew's ex-wife, Sarah Ferguson, also known as Fergie by fans and friends, is also reportedly going to join the royals for lunch. But neither the Duke nor Duchess of York is likely to step out of the royal residence and join Charles and Camilla at the traditional Christmas morning service held at St. Mary Magdalene Church. This would not be the first time Prince Andrew has avoided making a public appearance on Christmas Day. In 2019, the last time the royals gathered in Norfolk before the coronavirus pandemic derailed tradition, Andrew attended a private church service at the chapel at 9 a.m. with the late Queen. He did not join the rest of the firm members for service and the following walkabout with fans two hours later. On the other hand, Sarah's attendance at the Royal Christmas Lunch in Sandringham would be particularly poignant. The Duchess was last invited to spend Christmas Day with the firm in the early 1990s, before her separation from Andrew. Commenting on rumors of the inclusion of Sarah at the Royal Lunch on Christmas Day, Royal biographer Sally Bedell Smith told the Mail Online, Charles has invited the Duchess of York for the first time since her divorce from Prince Andrew. The Duke of Edinburgh had been the main obstacle to Fergie's inclusion, and the Queen had arranged for Fergie to stay nearby Wood Farm so she could see her daughters Beatrice and Eugenie after the celebrations at Sandringham. While Prince Andrew is expected to be at Sandringham this year, he probably won't be included in the walk to church. This comes as a source claimed King Charles made it clear to his younger brother that he is on his own. The monarch reportedly told the Duke of York he can't use Buckingham Palace as an office anymore as he is no longer a working royal family member. The source told the son, any presence at the palace is officially over. The king has made it clear. He isn't a working royal. Has on his own. As a consequence of this reported move, Andrew won't be able to use the address of the palace for future correspondence. The skeleton staff the Duke has retained since mid-November 2019, when he announced he would step back from public duties, reportedly face being put out of work. The decision was taken in the wake of Andrew's disastrous interview with Newsnight's Emily Maitlis entirely focused on his association with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. However, the royal never resumed his duties and in January he even returned his royal and military patronages. Earlier this week it was announced Queen Camilla has taken over the Duke of York as Colonel of the Grenadier Guards, in a clear sign the Duke is unlikely to ever make a prominent return to public life. While the Duke and Duchess of York are unlikely to be seen tomorrow, Charles and Camilla are expected to be accompanied at church by the Prince and Princess of Wales and their three children. Other attendees at the morning service are expected to include Mike and Zara Tindall, Princess Anne and Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice, 